So we're going to look at Flexbox design patterns. And I'm going to do index. And now I'm going to do main. And we'll create six divs. And each one will have an ID. I think that is not correct. Let's see what happens. Oh, it worked. And so uh, we don't need to put anything in them. And I think your IDs can't start with numbers. That's why my IDs start with the S. And so now we want to uh, style those. So I'll create a style. I'll call this one just style. And I could target each of those. background color and then put in some background color and uh, blue red yellow green I think a uh, gay flag. What is it? Red, orange, yellow. Red, orange, yellow. Green, blue, red. Green, blue, purple. The rainbow. Nice. And so now, without anything in main, let's just look and see what it looks like. Oh, link main, link style. Hmm, we need to give those a little width. Div, a little height, min height, 150 pixels. It's pretty. Let's do HTML body div box sizing border box. And I uh, like getting rid of padding and border. Okay, and then the next thing is uh, our body. Maybe we need 100%, uh, but we do need body display flex flex direction row and flex wrap wrap. Interesting. So for each of these. I could say uh, width 100%. I could also say flex basis auto. It's not going to change anything because auto means just use my width. Or I could say flex basis 100%. Kind of cool. So we got like a nice mobile look. Let's say we want this to change at 600. So media query style sheet, 600 plus. And bring that on. And uh, min width 600 pixels. So now
What do I want to have happen? Uh, let's say I want to go for, oh, we're trying to build that design. We'll go for this design, then we'll do something new. So I'm just going to go for the second phase there. So the first one, I'm going to keep it 100%. So that's fine. The next one, I want it to be, what is that, 3565? Is that right? So uh, width, oh, flex basis, 35%. Sixty-five percent on three, and the next one's a hundred, which has already been set, and the next two are fifty, right? So now at six hundred plus, it's going to take on a different look. Nothing changed, but I reloaded it. Call me a fool. Got that linked. Min width 600 pixels. There's MPQ, MQ 600 plus CSS, and pound, which is my ID, SO2, flex basis 35%, down from flex basis 100%. So an element versus an ID. CSS specificity calculator. Elements. IDs, ID should override it. And it came over. Yeah, so we could play with that. Let's try uh, the flex basis. Let's just try a change in flex basis to width. So that's kind of cool. Width worked, but like spaces is fine there. And now flex spaces is flying here. Maybe I just need to reload it. So let's reload it with flex spaces. Flex basis works now. Just need to reload for whatever reason. There's two hard things in programming. Naming things and clearing cache. And then if I wanted at 900 to change a little bit more. Hi, Alex. Media query, 900 plus, and a link to that, media, and uh, I want to go min width up, and so now at 900 plus, I can rethink what I want to have going, and let's shoot for the next one. So S1, SO2, and SO3, we'll do uh, flex basis 33%. Cool, I like it, 33.33. And uh, the next two are what, 60-40? Is that right? Last one's still 100, right? So last time S6 was at 50, so we do need to change that. Let me bring it back to 1,000, 100. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Well, it seems like the space between 600 and 900, there's 600 and 900, 600 stays for a while, I guess. It's pretty neat.
cool. So do you all get the principle? So I want you to recreate this one. And, uh, and this one, I'll put up the three screens. So that's up to 600. And, uh, and then let's just launch this again. So we have it there, we have it there. Get it there. All right, so let me uh, turn off display mirror. 